So hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to upscale your videos and get FFmpeg in Windows. Uh, this can be applied in other operating systems as well, but I'm going to be showing you in Windows. And yeah, let me just play a clip real quick explaining why you would want to upscale your videos to 144p or 4k. Uh, so basically I'll just show you why you would want to... Uh, VP9, which is basically what you get with uh, 144p. So basically, if you see this right here, you say this is really pixelated. And yes, you're right, and this is because of AVC. If I showed you how the video looked in reality before uploading to YouTube, this video looks like exactly like this one. Do you see any pixels? No, me neither. Like in movement, in. Um, times with high motion, like, if you see right here, like, everything is super pixelated. Well, as in here, where I still move a lot, um, and there's, like, particles and movement, I don't see any, like, uh, bitrate thingies, even though the bitrate is lower than this one. So, yeah, that's why you need uh, to upscale. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's just get started and open your browser, uh, whatever it's gonna be. We'll type ffmpeg.org or just ffmpeg. When I click on that, you would click on download. Just go and like select whatever you want, uh, whatever your operation system is. Just click on this. Actually, don't click, just like move your mouse here. Just click on giantgain.dev. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but anyway. Uh, don't be fooled and click on git because these are uh, experimental versions if I'm not uh, if I'm sure if I'm correct uh, click on it and go right here Just copy this and paste it right here uh, it's gonna save it just I'll just save it on my desktop actually okay while we wait for it to save let me kindly remind you to subscribe to my channel and press uh, the like button uh, if you wanna see more videos by me Okay, now that it's downloaded, you can just exit out of your browser. We have this. Now, um, to access this file, you would want an extractor. I use WinRAR. You can just like go to your other browser or the same one. I don't know why I used two different ones. I just felt like using Vivaldi. Uh, so yeah, and you can just type WinRAR or 7-zip. Just go right here. Go to download WinRAR. And download Winner. And yeah, that's how it works. And yeah, just click it, right click it, press extract here. Okay, you don't want that anymore, you can just delete that. And right here is your build. Um, if you, uh, to verify that you don't have FFmpeg, uh, you can just press uh, CMD, just open this, and type FFmpeg. This will pop up for me because I already have one. But if you don't, it will just say you don't have FFmpeg or, I don't know, it will, this will not pop up though. So yeah, uh, this is FFmpeg basically right here. Let me just open another file explorer. I cannot talk. Um, just go to this PC, go to local disk, and uh, just create a folder called FFmpeg. Um, or the name doesn't really matter, it's just easier for you to like follow along with the tutorial. So yeah, uh, I already have that folder, so I'm not gonna actually create that folder. As you can see right here, this is my folder. It's basically the same file, what you wanna do is basically just, it's basically just like, to your files, just place them in here. And yeah, that's all you're gonna do. Now you can, of course, exit out of both of those, and delete this. Okay, after you got that, you just wanna go to uh, to your Windows, type edit C the system environment variables. You're gonna open this, and it will take you right here. It's gonna click on environment variables, and this is for me and this is for my system. You just wanna go to path and click edit. If this happens to you while well, you go to your system variables, just go to your user variables and go to path, edit, 
and as you can see right here uh, I can edit my variables environment uh, as you can see right here I already have FFmpeg so I'll just delete that and show you how to get that okay. uh, you just wanna go right here go to this PC go to local disk FFmpeg just copy this control C uh, I just got the directory of my files, that's what basically what I need. I'm gonna press new, just paste that in, press enter, press ok, ok, apply if, you, if it shows you these, and press ok again. And now you have uh, FFmpeg. If you did not come here to upscale your videos, uh, this is where the FFmpeg uh, part ends. But just to verify that we have FFmpeg, it's gonna go ahead and type FFmpeg on your CMD. I will show this. So as you can see, we have that. Now, let's get to the part where we upscale our videos. It's gonna go to videos or documents or wherever you want. As you can see right here, I have these ones. Um, I'll just show you how to like do that stuff. Um, Okay, so basically you need a uh, bat file, I'm just gonna create one. It's really easy to make one, don't be scared, it's not something that's gonna be really hard. You just create a text document, rename it to whatever you want. For example, blah, blah, I don't know, NVIDIA 1440p, whatever you want. Uh, okay, after you do that, just save that and open it. <coughs> um. I'll actually need this, and yeah. Uh, as you can see right here, this is the what you're gonna run. Just gonna, I'm just gonna copy that and just paste it in here. And let me just explain some stuff. Right here, you just this is uh, where the folder that you put the the bot file. It's not bot yet. We're gonna make it bot real quick. But yeah, you uh, you get that by just clicking on top of this and pressing Ctrl C and then just pasting it here. Uh, and yeah, FFmpeg I convert. Oh yeah, all these. Just this is for 4K. You can do that for 1440p. Just type uh, resolution. As you can see right here, this is a resolution for 1440p. So let me just. Go ahead and copy that right there. Uh, as you can see right here, just paste it in. And yeah, this is for NVIDIA by the way. If you have an AMD graphics card, just go in the description. I will leave what you will do uh, if you had an AMD one. Uh, it basically, like, it will change some codes, some, um, some encode settings. Uh, but like the things that I'm gonna be changing in the video are basically gonna be the same, I believe. So yeah, uh, this is basically like this proves that it's Nvidia and Vic, as you can see. Profile high, preset slow, uh, and here is the quality that you will have. Uh, it's basically the CQ level, and uh, I like mine to be around 15, so I need 14 to 16. If you don't need, uh, if you don't want the really big file size, just like uh, make the numbers uh, bigger, and the smaller they get, like the best, uh, the better the quality and the better the file size. Don't overdo it because you cannot see any difference in YouTube uh, after 14. So that's why I have done uh, 14. After you're done with all this, press save us. Go to the same thingy, same directory. Let's change this to all files. Let's change this to dot bot. Save it. Close this. Just exit out of that. Don't need this anymore. And you have blah blah dot bot. It's just basically like the code thingy uh, to upscale. Uh, let's just say we need this to like be 1440p. What you want to do is just like take your uh, file, your video, and just rename it to uh, convert how I did that. Uh, if it's not named convert, it's not gonna work, so yeah. Then you just wanna double click. And as you can see, it launched up CMD and it's working on like uh, converting it. As you can see, it's already converted. And this is uh, our video, which is 
1440p. And if you go to properties, you will see that the file size also is bigger uh, because you basically made uh, the video quality be, uh, better. Well, it's not real better, it's just gonna be like better for you on YouTube. So, yeah, uh, if I go to details, you will see that this is uh, what, 1080p, and this is 4K. So, it basically worked. And yeah, this is basically how you like convert the stuff. And it's up to you, like, for the quality and everything. You can uh, play around with the settings. And, yeah. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like the video, of course. You can join our Discord server. My Discord server. Uh, in the description. And, yeah. I hope I see you again soon. Bye-bye.